Hi there, welcome to this video from me, Mark. It's another one about Absynth. Uh, I was going to do some more on the Evolving Soundscape stuff this week, but we've had a few requests, I believe, about how to use the automation in Absynth, because it is a little bit different to most other synths. So I'm just going to show you a basic automation, a couple of ways you can do it and try, hopefully, to explain to you why it is a little bit different in Absinthe or why it seems to be different and more difficult when it isn't, in fact, but... So we'll have a look quickly. I'm just going to create a little patch here. That'll do it. Um... I'll just create... Okay, that'll do. I'll just add a filter. Okay, so say you've created your little patch and you've added a filter. And you think to yourself, right, what I want to do is I've written a little melody. And, but I want to control the filter cutoff and the resonance. But how do I do it? Where, where's, there's, there's no knobs like other synths, you know? For instance, on things like most of you've got an knob, you can just right click and select MIDI learn, but it's not the case in Absinthe. Well, to be honest, it is the case. It just doesn't look like a knob. These are the filter. Uh, these are the filter knobs here, if you like. It's just you've got three for smaller increments of control. Normally, like on Zebra and that, you would use you would hold down Shift to get smaller increments. So. We have it there. So there's several ways you can do it. The easiest way, or not the easiest way. So there's several ways you can do it. First way I'm going to show you, just right click, select. Now you've got your CC numbers here in your macro controls. Now if you know your CC numbers, great. I know that um, I can instantly access CC number 22 on my MIDI controller. So I have just right clicked, and assigned it to CC22 or Macro Control 2. So if we go back to the performance window, you'll see here, filter frequency CC22. Now, if you don't like that explanation, you can change that, and I'll show you why you would maybe want to do that in a minute. So now, if I move my CC22, there we go, that's me controlling the filter frequency. <laughs> Pretty straightforward. Now, there is other ways that you can use these controls. Now, for instance, I don't really know where CC21 is on my controller because I don't really, it doesn't really come up when I use my MIDI controller because it's 22 and above, really, for my knobs. But say I want to use this one instead of this, instead of this one, or I want to, I just I just want to keep it. I want to start at number one and go through number two. So what I can do is macro control number one here. I could go back to the patch, go here, select macro control twenty one, so that I know what I'm selecting. Go back to performance. Now, if I move twenty two, seems to have gone. It seems to have disappeared. If I click in here and select MIDI learn. There we go. That's 22. So now, as you can see, it's went to CC22. What I've done is I don't have, just because it says 21 there, I don't have to use 21. I can come in here, select the drop down, select MIDI learn, and I can turn anything there. As you can see, 29. Uh, if I try again, click the drop down, MIDI learn, one of the, f there you go, 15. So as you can see, by using this method, you can assign anything to anything, basically. Now, so we've got filter frequency there set to CC15. I'm just going to change that to number 22. Now, I said to you earlier, you can click, see if you just click here. You can change the name to whatever you like. Now, it picked up filter frequency because we were in the patch and we right clicked there and we assigned it so it knows what you've assigned it to, yeah? But let's say you want to assign the same 
So let's say number 22 to both resonance and filter. So if I right click there, go 22, and right click there, 22. Come back in here. That one there, macro control one CC22, now controls the filter cutoff and the resonance. So maybe in that point, at that point, you would maybe want to come in here and, I don't know, maybe change it to filter. And that's just a case of typing that on the keyboard. Now, I do this, let's have a listen, see if you can hear it. Okay, that is manipulating both, but how do you really know that? Hmm, it's a strange one. The easiest way to see what is exactly assigned to any control number is hit assignments. If you come in here, filter CC22, you can see there, filter A1 frequency, filter A1 resonance. And just that I'm, now that I'm in here, there's something I can show you. This is actually in the manual, so if you've read the manual and you've done this already, I apologise, but it's just one of these little things that can be kind of cool, and if you don't know about it, can drive you insane. Now that we're in here, we're both, both controls are set to CC22, but really, when the filter frequency goes up, do you want the resonance to go up as well? Probably not. You want to want it to go up and want it to come down. See if you just click that invert. That's it. So now one will go up and one will come down. Now that we're in here, you can also see that you can, can, you can select any one of these macro controls in here. So for instance, this is CC23. You could hit learn and change it in here as well. So it's up to you really. If I hit learn again, I'll just put that back to 23. So it can be done in here also, but you can see, and then you can see that there's nothing assigned here, but you could then click add and you can assign certain things in here. But more control would be gain from here. So for instance, if I wanted to assign the transposition to 23, I could just do that. Now if I come back to performance, come back to the macro controls, CC23, as you can see there, oscillator, A, modulation, pitch. So now, if I go very very simple my personal favorite is I normally just come in here once I've assigned on the patch I come in here and I assign I will normally use the MIDI learn because it just depends what I've got set up for other stuff Okay, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. As you can see, you just click on that drop-down menu and you can select anything, even things like the modulation wheel and whatnot. So once once you start doing it, it's very, very simple. And pretty much it can be done with every parameter. So as you can see here, where there are knobs, right-click, learn, turn a knob, job done. And you'll see if you go into the patch, pretty much anything can be anything can be controlled. There you go. And if you don't, again, if you don't really want to assign a macro as from here, you just go into the performance window, click here, hit MIDI learn. Get your MIDI learn. So you've now got CC15. You could come back to your patch window. Come here, look for CC15, there it is, select that, and it'll be controlled by whatever it was that you assigned to CC15. So, now, now that you've got those controls, what do you do with them? They can be recorded in Cubase in several different ways. We hit the right button here, press play. Okay, now that should have recorded that, but there, let's see if it did or not. So we'll leave the read button on. 
Now that's a strange little bug in Cubase actually. Sometimes that right button just doesn't work and the way we can see is you, you right click and select show used automation for selected tracks only and nothing comes up. So the way we go oh, the way we get around that and I think that's specifically to do with the uh, the VSTs themselves. Again we put the read and write buttons on and I'll just take the loop off we don't need it. But this time instead of just hitting play I'm going to hit record and then it will record the automation in. And you can see the automation's clearly written there. Now, there's several things you can do with that. I'm not going to get into Cubase, but um, I could just right click, select glue, and just glue that track. And then if I come in and look at this, let me just bring this up a little bit. If I come over here, I can see the velocity at the moment. If I click where it says velocity, CC22, control number 22, you can see it's got a little star next to it, that's telling you that there's automation information there. Click on that and there we have it. So there's the automation control. I could then, if I wanted to, I can use my pencil to draw more in. Sorry, my pencil. I could use lines, whatever. So that's another way of doing it. Uh, if I just delete all of that. Another way of doing it in Cubase is just the automation lanes here. If I just put a plus, click there, go to more. Absent 5 stereo, click on that. Filter, OK, and now I can draw it in however I like. And you'll see. So that's basic automation. Okay, that's pretty much everything you need to know. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something. And I shall see you soon. Bye-bye.